Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take advantage of the Christmas auction house as of right now. So, as you guys know, I told you guys to invest in these snow players because I do expect their price to rise. Now, at the same time I do expect them to rise, there is supposed to be a third part of the Christmas promo, which yesterday they just added, you know, the Saquon Barkley, the Derwin James, the gift was Bradley Chubb, so prices are looking a little bit cheaper. Now, there is going to be something else coming. They didn't explain exactly what. I do have a couple of theories as to what it could possibly be. First off, it's possible we see a Bo Jackson. It's up to EA, but usually Bo always drops around this time. Second, the last present to open is actually going to be on December 31st, so I feel like there could be some more gifts, seeing how this promo doesn't end until January 8th. So that's a week, that's literally eight days where we won't have any gifts. To me, that seems a little bit strange. So, they could either one, put in bow, two, add more gifts, or they could do a combination of them, and also, we could have some special Blitz offers. Now, if you guys don't know what they are, I made a couple videos a couple days ago when they were like dropping all these special offers leading up to Christmas, they had like a Legends Fantasy pack in the store for like 400 snow. They would have a Quick Sell Players pack for points, for snow, for training. There was a lot of stuff going on and a lot of people really like that. So if EA really wants to please everybody, I feel like they would bring those back. And I feel like New Year's would actually be a pretty good time to do that. Now, if they're going to drop gifts in the game, since the last one does open up on the 31st, I feel like they would have to put the gift pack back in the store by the 30th or the 31st in the morning to actually have more gifts probably the 30th to be honest so maybe we'll see something on new year's like at midnight they could drop some sort of a special offer and we'll see exactly what's going to happen with that but there's actually a lot going on that i feel like a lot of people don't know so on january 8th snow actually goes away now this is something that i've been looking into a little bit and i asked cray low about this now uh, a lot of people are adding the same question and he actually answered me on twitter the Ghost of Madden Forever. So the solo challenges will stay up forever. Apparently the Snow Beast and the Zero Chill will be going away. Or at least the Zero Chill. I didn't say anything about the Snow Beast. But the Ghost of Madden Forever solos will forever stay up. So you can always get yourself Tony G, Michael Vick, or Champ Bailey. Now, of course, you need Snow to actually go ahead and power these players up. So what happens when Snow goes away? Snow turns into training. So you're going to be able to use training points, I believe, to go ahead and upgrade Mike Vick, Tony G, and those players. Now that had me thinking about what are they going to do for the ratios. Now they did announce, they don't know what the ratio is going to be, the leftover snow. So I have 150 more snow right now. They didn't announce exactly what the ratio is going to be for snow you have in your, like if you actually quick sell them and you have it like available as a currency. They didn't announce what the ratio is going to be, but they did say they will announce that at a later point. So I did a little bit of math, and I gotta say, first off, there was like 20 or so people within the last couple days that DM me this information as well. So thank you if you guys DM me. I would shout you out if I knew who it was, but literally there's been so many people I can't even specify one person. So thank you guys very much for that. If I ever, you know, I'm not slacking or something for some reason, which I usually don't, but if I am slacking, I know I have you guys to help me out with some information. So thank you guys very much for that. But taking a look at the snow and the ratios of training, I was taking a look at it, and to me it only makes sense that these players would have the same training value as a regular 95. So then I was taking a look at the snow value, and I did some math. The ratio is actually 2.5. So a 95 overall snow player is 2.5 times less than training points. For example, this Earl Thomas, he quick sells for 5,200 snow. A regular 95 overall player quick sells for 13,000 training. So that's the ratio. Now, will they do that with your snow leftover? That I don't know. So if I have 150 snow, will it then turn into 375 training points? That's up for EA to decide. Now, me taking a look at that, realized, holy crap, this is huge. So I figured I'd make a video about it and help you guys out. Now, first off, could these prices rise up on players? To be honest, I feel like this is a great investment tool. Either way you look at it, 
A, they drop something else new in the promo and these prices rise up on the players or B, they're actually cheaper training options. Now, the only thing is that you do have to wait until January 8th to quick sell these players for training because they will turn into training. Snow completely comes out of the game. Snow will no longer be in the game after January 8th. So this is actually really, really good. So you take a look at 95 overalls right now, they're going for 380,000 coins. That's super, super cheap. Now, if you take a look at the 96 overalls, they're currently going for about 480k, and the 92 to 93s, aka 93s, I don't think there is any 92s, uh, they're about 215,000 coins. And then there's also the 94 overall Bradley Chubb right now, who is currently going for 240k. That's why the 92s and 93s are down so much, because this Chubb is so freaking cheap, and he's a 94 overall. So the ratio was two and a half. Now, again, you can upload or you can uh, do the Ghost of Madden Forever players with training after this so i'm not too sure if it's going to be cheaper to do with training or to cheaper to do with snow but either way this is pretty big so i did a little bit of the math as well so if we take a look at the 95 overall players right now like i said before this earl thomas is still for 370k now as of right now the best possible training is 95 overall players but they're nowhere near this cheap. The best possible option for training as of right now, what I was buying to get 42,000 training points, was of course the Gauntlet players. Now you can usually get them for about 420, 425-ish. Uh, right now, Richard Sherman is 440K. We also have Donovan McNabb, which I don't know how much he is. He's about 446. Uh, Roquan Smith, how much is Roquan? Roquan, dang, 480K, that is ridiculous. And then of course, we also have John Randall who is sitting at about, let's see, where's John Randall? 469k, and there's also one more. Well, I cannot remember who the last one is. And the last one is Devonta Freeman. Now, they quick sell for 13,000 training points, which the 95 overall Ghost of Madden players quick sell for 5,200 snow, which, yes, is a two and a half ratio. So if you take a look at the prices of just the 95s in general, they're going for less than the regular 95s do when you quick sell them for training, which is 13,000. You can buy 95 overall Ghost of Madden players right now for about 370, 380. This one's up to 390 now. Still cheaper than the 95s. So if you buy these players now and just hold on to them, there's two different things I can think of. One, people realize, oh crap, now they're going for training. Prices will rise on them. And if they don't, you just got yourself the cheapest possible training option anyways. Now that's not even all. 95s aren't even the best ratio right now for training. I did the math. 96s are actually the cheapest because they're going for 486,000 coins. Now, for the coins they're going for, and if they follow the same ratio of going up by one overall and how much they should increase by, 96 overalls times 2.5 for how much snow they quick sell for is 18,000 training points. Since a 96 overall quick sells for 7,200 snow, 18,000 training points is how much these guys should quick sell for, which that is in fact the cheapest training option. So guys, right now, I recommend you go ahead and pick up some Ghost of Madden players, either one, to invest in the snow option in case they do go up in price, or two, for training. Literally, 18,000 training is a lot of training. Right now, right, so say you want to pick up any limited time card. T uh, team of the Week, Amari Cooper. Team of the Week, Khalil Mack. That is 17,000 training points to go ahead and pick them up. If these cards quick sell, which they will, for 18,000 snow, take a look at how much they're going for, right? 480K or so. Team of the week, Khalil Mack right now. If you guys want to pick him with training points, 17,000 training points. He's currently selling for, let's see, he's even up. He's not even up in the auction book. He's like 1.2 million coins. Same with Bobby Wagner, same with Amari Cooper. They're going for a lot of coins you can literally get them for almost a third of their price if you just buy that and you'll still have a thousand leftover training points so right now buying these 96s is a very very good idea because either one prices go up because of the snow two prices could possibly go up when people realize they're going for that much snow and they are in fact the cheapest option or three you just got yourself a bunch of training for super super cheap you just have to hold on to them for about a little bit over another week so to me this is definitely something that you guys should do and personally thinking about this when i realized this i have so much training in my item miner right now it is absolutely ridiculous because these players are not going to be quick sell for snow pretty soon take a look at my ghost of madden's right now 
all the ghost advantage that I have available, minus two, because I'm actually using them, is 50,000 snow. I'm going to have over like 125k training worth of cards. I can either keep that and literally pick up just about any card in the game I want all year long now with training points. I need the new Patrick Peterson. I need the new Randy Moss. It's going to cost a lot to pick them up. I can literally quick sell one of these Ed Reeds and make 18,000 training. That's ridiculous. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys next time.